At the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. So as you can tell, I'm filming this November 2021 at the Warrior Hockey HQ headquarters here in Gothenburg, Sweden. All the brand new stuff is supposed to be in this building right here. Come on in, let's talk about it. So I drove two hours this morning down to Gothenburg to the Warrior headquarters. Now, I've used Warrior here in the past and I actually used a stock G4 demo set for a few months a couple years ago to transition me into my custom college setup in that beautiful Warrior Blue. Now, I used that set for almost two years and I loved it. There's a lot of great things, also a couple things that needed to be fixed. Sadly, Warrior didn't get much of a chance to showcase the G5 a few years ago for some reason that I can't remember. But today I've got the chance to see the brand new G6 line up close and personal and tour the facility. Also, did I mention how excited I am to see this G6 and the M2 stick line? Let's get started. So I had G4 equipment about two years ago and it was really awesome, it was really exciting, but didn't get a chance to really see G5 too much. G6 coming up just right around the corner. And this here is hey. where all the magic. What are you doing in here? Wanna talk G6? I'd love to. Did you know that Nick Lidstrom is the first ever signed Warrior player? So the G6 line is going to be coming out in a couple weeks from now from this point of releasing the video, hopefully sometime in 2022. It's November. I've been lucky enough to get early access to some of the G6 stuff, obviously all up on the wall. Chris here is one of the reps for Warrior here in Sweden. He's going to be telling me, telling you all about the G6 stuff and I'll show you around the headquarters. Like this is a pretty cool place. So everything up here is G6. From the pads, the pro level stuff, all the way down. We have two sets of gloves, two sets of blockers, a 580. I've been talking about this a lot in the vlog for the last little bit. Haven't mentioned a company. Warriors, the company doing a 580 this year. It's a lot of really exciting stuff. The palms, some of them are removable, some of them are not. Some of the great technology from the G4, G5 line. The air slide, this is one of my favorites on my G4 set. All this kind of stuff. Another question I get asked a lot is, Junior pads, like I don't use 30 inch pads, 32 inch pads, junior level stuff or the entry level sticks. But what I will say is with Warrior, what they're doing is that you're getting an actual pad when you buy junior level stuff. It's not like a pillow like Brian's makes or Bauer or CCM makes, it's a legitimate pad. All the technology and the pro level stuff down there makes its way down the line as you get towards the entry level stuff, which is really, really cool. And I want Chris to do a breakdown of all the G stuff here right here with some sweet B-roll. Cue the intro. very excited to show you the features of this pad gloves the blocker g6 features a bindingless very clean design and with a much stiffer core than we had before uh, we still have a knee cradle built in so this is a part of the core which is going to give you good stability we updated our air slide into a 3.0 uh, which is going to have you less contact with the ice it's like even better and these two combined is going to make your slide as fast as possible we know that all goalies are different. We have a lot of different options. For example, we have added this dual fit, which means that you can have a very tight fit, or if you want to keep it loose, you can go out here. The leg channel is wider. What we have here is that this piece is very solid, which makes the pad rotate perfectly. Even if you're feeling very connected to the pad, even with a tight fit, you get a good rotation, but still feel connected to the pad. Take a look at the inner part. We're using this professor strap. The core is much stiffer. We're actually using hyper -com composite to make it stiffer and last longer. Give you a faster rebounds and more durability. So also for the core, we're using the coverage plus, which makes the pad tilt forward, which presents the pad closer to the puck. This year we have two new gloves, the G6 and the G6.1. The G6 is based on the G4, G5. If you're looking for more of a 580, this will be the glove for you. The 580 will come stock with a double T and the regular G6 will come in a regular single T. The G6, we will have a removable liner. In the 6.1, the liner is gonna be fixed so it's not gonna be removable. Some people like the snappy feeling that you get in a single T. Some people like that you get, get more visibility. And the puck rotation stops quicker in a double T. Let's talk about blockers. Uh, we have the G6 and we also have a G6.1. The G6 with a thicker board, faster rebounds, 
and higher remounts. You also have a fixed uh, liner into it where you can adjust the height of it so you can get an offset blocker. G6.1, you have a thinner profile. This is for the goaltender who's looking for a light blocker uh, with a thinner profile, a little bit more curved than the G6. The liner in this one is gonna be fixed. But you still have the improved finger protection which is gonna give you more control when playing pedal down. Now check this out. This is easily my favorite feature of the entire G6, that my favorite feature of Warrior's ever done. You see this down here, there's a tow bridge. A lot of people are confused. Trav, there's no tow bridge. I have my Travspec Pro Laces on. Now you can. You pick up a set, link in the description, promo code TRAVSUCK, save you five bucks off. Get the best money you can buy with a money back guarantee. Love the ARSs, they're great, sometimes, but gotta get some Travspecs. I, I can show around all this stuff, right? Kirk's told me don't describe this as like an HQ or like a warehouse. It's more like a showroom, but still really cool. Like right here, we got like a little mini fridge with all this IQ fuel stuff. It's like a Swedish company that makes energy drinks. They're really awesome. Chris and I just buried like six. This is like where all the magic happens, all the demo units, all the showcase units, the G7 stuff, and whatever comes out in the future will be here first before anybody else sees it in that fall, that calendar year. We got some player stuff over here, and then we have posters that haven't really been replaced, but the Carlson Ottawa one. There's a Sharks one in there, but Ottawa up here, and then Nikki Backstrom, a couple cool little couches, a couple cool little pieces of swag and whatnot. It's just a, this is the factory. Factory. This is outside Gothenburg, in the uh, streets of Sweden. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you have any questions, uh, please reach out to Warrior Goalie on Instagram. We look forward to meet you all in stores in a couple of weeks. So there you have it. Everything Warrior and G6 for this calendar year. And we didn't even get a chance to talk about the brand new stick, which is gonna be launched in the spring, the brand new M2 Pro Plus. Now, I'm super excited for it, and I'll be getting my hands on one when it launches in the spring to test out and ultimately give you a video review on my opinions. But obviously, there's gonna be a few lines coming out this spring between the Bauer Mach, the CCM Axis 2, and more. So leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what brand and specifically what line of gear you're most excited to see and learn more about. I'm due for an annual upgrade of gear this spring, so it's time for some new stuff. And Maybe you can help me make that decision. Thanks for watching. And ultimately, thanks to Chris, Kirk, and all the guys at Warrior for allowing me into the headquarters to see the G6 stuff early and make this video. As always, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more gear videos just like this and more from my pro hockey journeys. And I'll see you on the next Monday, Thursday upload at 10 a.m. Eastern. I'll see you then.